is up. Welcome back to another episode where I spend my money on stuff to review it for you and let you know how it tastes. But at this rate, I think I'm just going to dabble into a little bit of extra stuff and uh, start getting into like collector's boxes rather than, you know, reviewing just regular uh, tubs and uh, powder to let you know how it tastes on that point. So at this point, we're going to do the Dead by Daylight box. And the Dead by Daylight box was the first aluminum box that they actually made and put out that I know of. Maybe they did it in the past, but it's pretty sweet. It's got its own handle. And from my understanding, it is a med kit from the game Dead by Daylight. I've never played Dead by Daylight, so at that point, I couldn't tell you anything about it. I couldn't tell you what these are endurance reaction focus and stuff g fuel changes it up for each one of them so there's that and to see what's in it here we go we got the sticker customized sticker which is pretty sweet that they change up the stickers every once in a while with depending on what collab that they do they'll do a different sticker uh, that's pretty sweet and then we got a different cup cup is pretty sweet also we're going to probably never actually use this one um, a lot of these cups that I do like for the collectors things just to uh, have in my collection and uh, to see how far it can go and grow so and one cool thing about this I noticed is so we got the white top red lid and the inside of it is a gray ice catcher or powder blender thing I think it works better than blending up the powder I think it works best as an ice catcher so there's that um, and then it says at the bottom the 2022 I know you probably can't see it uh, 2022 behavior interactive ink all rights reserved so they trademark their you know their cups and stuff so it's pretty sweet that they'll do that and then uh the liquid itself the powder which is pretty sweet that the design of it definitely definitely plays a neat role all the characters on it again I have no idea what characters are what so I know that the characters have a name but I have never played the game, so if anybody knows the name of the characters, maybe that's something you can inform me about. And also at the bottom down here, like the different perks, like how from Call of Duty, how these are different perks. Maybe these are different perks in this game. Again, I don't know the game, so. All right, now to the fun part where I taste this. Yep, as you can see, it is already open because I failed to record this the first time stupidly enough I cut this up out and realized it after I actually recorded the video so this would be my second time and somehow the scooper is buried again I just dug it out but somehow it's buried again it looks brand new right it's how they just come out yeah, so I'm very sorry. I took the fun out of digging the scooper out. I took the fun out of opening the tub. And I just, I took the fun out of it. I'm very sorry about that. So, but it's all right. Because what we are here for is still here and to taste it. So, I can't get over that smell. That, uh, that smell of this almost smells like something's on fire. I like a burnt smell. Like a wood pile that's burnt. Or maybe burnt pie crust or something. I don't know. It definitely has a burnt smell. Trusty Earth Day Shaker. Everybody loves Earth Day. Get out. Clean up your living space. Clean up the world we love. Pour this in here. Again, that's for 12 ounce. 
12 to 16 ounce is regular scoop, which is just like that. And then if you want a tall boy, 24 ouncer, you just put that top on, which is pretty neat. I drink a lot of tall boys. I don't know. I've been drinking a lot of 12 to 16 ounces recently just because I've been going through a lot of different flavors that I actually like. I've been getting a lot of different flavors. So another cool thing is how red it gets. The difference in color real fast. Look how fast that just got red. So never know what color this is going to turn your water until you mix it. Once you mix it, guesses is over. This one I almost would say red, but think about caramel and think about apple. Uh, that I think that's the flavor description of it. Um, a caramel and an apple, I wouldn't really say would be red, but per se, that's what you get. And then listen for the pop, like always. A little bit. And that smell also draws me back to where I was a kid getting medicine. It smells like cough syrup medicine of some sort. Maybe cherry cough syrup medicine or something. I don't know. I can't get past the, the smell of this being what it is and the smell of this being what it is versus... actually drinking it and liking it i said this is the second time i've recorded this and i like the liquid a lot i'd say it's a good seven out of ten i wouldn't say it's a top tier one but i would say it's a good seven out of ten the taste definitely is that caramel apple the caramel the apple sucker that's dipped in the caramel that's got the caramel swirled around it Tastes really phenomenally delicious. I will not deny that. And you can see, you can definitely see it settling in the bottom of it. You see how it settles in the bottom of it? But yeah, ultimate analysis would be smells like burnt pie crust, burnt wood pile something i don't know we gotta figure that we gotta figure that out smells like medicine i don't know how two of them coincide smells like medicine burnt pie crust or something but tastes like it's supposed to g fuel has a way of not letting people down with the taste you don't buy g fuel to smell it you buy it to taste it and to drink it so ultimate i can drink it it's just really odd. So, it's delicious though. I will say that. I haven't really found any G Fuel that I haven't found actually delicious. So, um, yeah, so this is what you get for, I think this one was $59.99. Take a good picture. Just take a good picture. And, uh, yeah, so 60 bucks, and then a new one that I just ordered today was 80 was like $74.99, and it's a Pac-Man one, and it's a light-up LED box, it says, but it doesn't say very much more than light-up LED box, uh, so I'm thinking for $80, it's going to be more than just a fancy-dancy Christmas display of a box, so I am foreshadowing that you will be able to actually play Pac-Man on the box. I want to so bad. I want it to be right so bad. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Inside the box is going to be the lick, the, the powder, the cup, but the box itself is light up and LED. So we'll see what that's about as soon as it comes in. It ships April, so huh, a couple months from now. And also my next video, I think I'm going to be doing G Fuel slushies. We're going to uh, go through the process on getting the ice and melting it down uh, enough temperature because yeah it's gonna be a whole video and i've got a, a machine too that's pretty sweet i'll show you guys but yeah in the future uh g fuel slushies until then take care peace